the Inuit have developed traditional methods to preserve meat for more than a decade without refrigeration, relying on their deep understanding of the Arctic environment. One of their primary techniques is fermentation, where meat, often from fish, seal, or walrus, is buried underground or stored in stone catches, allowing natural bacteria to break it down in a controlled manner. This process, known as gunak for fermented walrus or kiviak for fermented seabirds, prevents spoilage while enhancing flavor and nutrient content. Another method involves drying meat in the cold, dry air, a practice suited to the Arctic's freezing temperatures and low humidity. By cutting meat into thin strips and hanging it outdoors or inside specially made shelters, the moisture content is reduced, preventing bacterial growth and extending shelf life. The constant cold of permafrost also serves as a natural freezer, where deep pits or caves keep meat preserved for years. Inuit also use seal oil as a preservation medium. Meat is submerged in seal blubber or oil inside seal skins or containers, creating an oxygen-free environment that inhibits bacterial growth and oxidation. This method keeps the meat fresh and nutrient, rich for extended periods. Through these time-tested preservation techniques, the Inuit have been able to store and consume meat safely for over a decade, even in one of the harshest climates on Earth, in addition to fermentation, drying, and preservation in seal oil. The Inuit have also mastered the use of freezing as a natural preservation method, the Arctic environment with it. Naturally freezing temperatures allows them to store meat outdoors or in ice cellars dug into the permafrost. These underground storage spaces maintain a consistently low temperature year round, preventing spoilage and keeping the meat edible for decades in some cases. Unlike modern freezers, which can cause freezer burn over time. The permafrost preserves the meat's texture and nutritional value without significant degradation. Another key factor in the longevity of Inuit, preserved meat is the absence of artificial additives or chemicals. Their methods rely solely on natural processes and environmental conditions, ensuring that the food remains safe for consumption without exposure to preservatives. Additionally, because the Arctic is largely free from insects and bacteria that thrive in warmer climates, the risk of contamination is minimal. The Inuit also practice community-based food storage, where preserved meat is shared among families and generations. This not only prevents waste, but also ensures a constant cycle of preservation and consumption, maintaining the knowledge and traditions passed down for centuries. These techniques have allowed them to survive in extreme conditions long before the invention of modern refrigeration, proving the effectiveness of their traditional wisdom in food preservation. Beyond their ingenious preservation methods, the Inuit have also developed a deep cultural understanding of food safety and quality. They have specific techniques for determining whether preserved meat is still safe to eat, relying on sensory evaluations such as smell, texture, and color. Unlike modern food safety standards, which rely on expiration dates and refrigeration, the Inuit have learned to trust their instincts and ancestral knowledge to assess food that has been stored for years. Their diet, rich in protein and fats from marine mammals like seals and whales, is well suited to Arctic conditions. The high fat content of these animals plays a crucial role in preservation. As fats can act as a natural barrier against oxidation, meat stored in seal oil, for example, remains tender and retains its nutritional value for extended periods. Similarly, whale blubber and dried fish provide essential nutrients even after years of storage. Seasonal hunting patterns also contribute to the success of their preservation techniques. The Inuit hunt specific animals at certain times of the year when their fat content is highest ensuring that preserved food remains rich in energy and sustenance throughout long, harsh winters. This cyclical approach to hunting and food storage allows them to maintain a stable food supply, even when fresh hunting opportunities are scarce. Despite modern advancements, many Inuit communities continue to use these ancient preservation methods today. While freezers and modern food storage techniques have become more common, traditional practices remain a vital part of their culture, not only for survival, but also for maintaining a deep connection to their ancestral heritage. 
These methods, perfected over thousands of years, demonstrate the remarkable adaptability of the Inuit in one of the world's most unforgiving environments. The resilience of Inuit food preservation methods is further strengthened by their deep respect for nature and the animals they hunt. Every part of an animal is used to minimize waste and surplus meat is often shared within the community, ensuring that nothing goes to waste. This practice not only helps in food security, but also reinforces strong social bonds among Inuit families and groups. Another key element of their preservation success is the adaptation of storage locations based on environmental changes. In regions where permafrost remains stable, Underground ice cellars continue to be used for long-term storage. However, in areas where climate change has begun to affect the stability of permafrost, some Inuit communities have adapted by constructing new storage methods, such as reinforced underground freezers or insulated above ground storage units. These modern adaptations still honor traditional practices while addressing new environmental challenges. Beyond physical preservation techniques, the Inuit also passed down knowledge about the nutritional and medicinal benefits of their preserved foods. Fermented and dried meats not only provide essential proteins and fats, but also contain beneficial bacteria that aid digestion and overall health. This knowledge is taught from generation to generation, ensuring that even with technological advancements, traditional food preservation remains a respected and practiced skill. Today, while many Inuit have access to modern refrigeration, traditional preservation methods remain a cornerstone of their culture and survival strategy. These techniques, refined over centuries, demonstrate a perfect balance between human ingenuity and respect for nature. The ability to store meat for over a decade without refrigeration is not just a testament to their resourcefulness, but also an example of sustainable living continues to inspire researchers and survival experts around the world. The Inuit's ability to preserve meat for more than a decade without refrigeration is not just a survival skill. It is a deeply ingrained tradition that reflects their harmony with the Arctic environment. Their techniques are rooted in both scientific principles and cultural wisdom, ensuring that food remains safe, nutritious, and available even during the harshest winters when fresh hunting is difficult. One of the most fascinating aspects of their preservation methods is how they work with natural fermentation rather than against it. Unlike the common perception that fermentation leads to spoilage, the Inuit have perfected controlled fermentation allowing beneficial bacteria to break down meat in a way that enhances its preservation rather than making it unsafe. This process is similar to how some cultures ferment dairy or vegetables to extend shelf life and increase nutritional benefits. The strong Arctic winds combined with the cold, dry climate further contribute to this preservation by preventing harmful bacteria growth beyond its practical benefits. Traditional food preservation also holds deep cultural and spiritual significance for the Inuit. The process of preparing, storing, and consuming preserved foods is often accompanied by storytelling, rituals, and community gatherings. It connects younger generations to their ancestors and reinforces respect for the land and animals that sustain them. However, in recent years, climate change has posed challenges to these traditional methods. Rising temperatures have caused permafrost layers to thaw in some regions, making underground ice cellars less reliable. Additionally, changing weather patterns have affected hunting seasons, sometimes leading to food shortages or the need for alternative storage methods. In response, some Inuit communities are combining traditional knowledge with modern innovations, such as insulated underground storage units and solar-powered freezers, to adapt to the changing climate while preserving their heritage. Despite these challenges, Inuit food preservation remains a remarkable example of human ingenuity and resilience. Their ability to keep meat edible for more than a decade without modern technology serves as a powerful lesson in sustainable living, demonstrating how indigenous knowledge can offer solutions even in extreme conditions. The Inuit's time-tested methods continue to be studied by scientists, survivalists, and historians, 
proving that ancient wisdom often holds the key to long-term sustainability and survival, as Inuit food preservation methods continue to attract global interest. Researchers and survival experts are studying their techniques to understand how they can be applied in modern contexts. The ability to store meat for over a decade without refrigeration offers valuable insights into sustainable food storage, especially in regions where electricity is unreliable or in situations like long-term survival expeditions and space travel. Scientists are particularly interested in the fermentation process used by the Inuit as it preserves nutrients while preventing harmful bacterial growth, a concept that could inspire new approaches to food preservation in extreme environments. Additionally, Inuit elders and knowledge keepers are working to ensure these traditional methods are not lost. Many communities actively teach younger generations the skills of drying, fermenting, and storing meat using natural methods. Cultural programs and educational initiatives have been developed to reinforce the importance of traditional food preservation, not just for survival, but as a way to maintain Inuit identity and heritage. The role of traditional foods in Inuit health is also being studied. With increasing access to store-bought foods, there has been a rise in health issues such as diabetes and heart disease due to processed foods replacing nutrient-dense traditional diets. Inuit who continue to eat preserved meats rich in omega-3 fatty acids and proteins tend to have better overall health, reinforcing the idea that traditional preservation methods contribute not only to survival but to long-term well-being. However, the impact of climate change remains a pressing concern. As permafrost melts and Arctic temperatures rise, some of the natural conditions that have historically supported food preservation are changing. Scientists and Inuit hunters alike are working on ways to adapt, such as identifying new storage locations or modifying traditional methods to work under shifting environmental conditions. Some communities are experimenting with hybrid approaches, using traditional fermentation and drying techniques alongside modern tools like vacuum, sealing to extend food longevity. Despite these challenges, Inuit food preservation remains one of the most remarkable examples of human adaptability. Their methods, shaped by centuries of experience in one of the harshest environments on Earth, continue to offer invaluable lessons in sustainability, self-sufficiency, and respect for nature. As the world looks for solutions to food insecurity and climate change, the wisdom of the Inuit serves as a reminder that sometimes, the most effective answers lie in the knowledge of those who have thrived in extreme conditions for generations. The resilience of Inuit food preservation and climate change. The in its time tested techniques offer valuable lessons on how to store food naturally without relying on modern technology. Their methods emphasize working with the environment rather than against it, using natural cold wind and organic materials to preserve meat for years or even decades. One of the reasons these techniques have remained effective for so long is the Inuit's deep understanding of their surroundings. They know precisely when and where to store food to maximize preservation. For example, underground ice cellars or civilic are carefully chosen based on the stability of permafrost layers, ensuring that stored meat remains frozen even during the short Arctic summers. Similarly, the drying process takes advantage of consistent winds and cold temperatures to remove moisture while preventing bacteria and mold growth. While modern refrigeration has become more accessible in some Inuit communities, many still rely on traditional methods out of necessity or preference. There is a growing movement among indigenous groups to revitalize these practices, recognizing their importance not only for survival, but also for cultural identity. This is particularly relevant as the Arctic faces unprecedented environmental changes that threaten both food security and traditional ways of life. The adaptability of the Inuit has always been their strength as melting permafrost and shifting weather patterns impact their ability to store food as they once did. Some communities are experimenting with alternative preservation strategies that merge traditional knowledge with modern solutions. Some are reinforcing ice cellars with insulating materials to slow down permafrost thawing, 
while others are exploring sustainable technologies like solar-powered cold storage.